Again, welcome home uh, to all of you. It's a joy to have, to be able to celebrate together um, this holy mass and give thanks to God for the great gift of our faith. Today in the gospel, the Lord is speaking of his departure, and he has been for the last few days. He's preparing all of us, preparing the, the disciples for when he's not going to be physically present with them anymore, but is going to be present in a new and mysterious way. And that way um, is through the power of the Holy Trinity, through the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling within them. And each of us who have been baptized have the, that power, the Holy Spirit, dwelling within us, have the power of the, the love of the Holy Trinity dwelling within us. And so, you know, understandably, the disciples are bummed. Jesus is going somewhere else. What? You're going to stay with us forever, right? But the Lord says, if I don't go, it's better for you that I go, because if I don't go, the advocate will not come to you. So the Holy Spirit, the Lord is saying, is powerful. The Holy Spirit is something that we all should ask for in abundance. And what is, the, the Holy Spirit is mysterious. What does the Holy Spirit do? Well, today the Lord tells us about three things that the Holy Spirit does. He, he will come to convict the world with regard to sin, to righteousness, and to condemnation. So rather than the Lord being in one place, having to call out each person, saying, go and sin no more, now the Holy Spirit convicts each one of us in our hearts, and our conscience, that no, I ought not to do that. I ought not to sin against the Lord. That will draw me from him. And so we listen to the voice of that spirit. We avoid sin. The Holy Spirit will convict us in righteousness. So those good works that the Lord asks us to do, those good things that the, the Holy Spirit is prompting us to do, now we know even more clearly and in abundance because you hear that little whisper. You hear that little impulse. Go and do that good thing. Go and help that person. It's the Holy Spirit convicting us to transform the world. And finally, condemnation. So what's that mean? The Lord says, condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. So we know the devil has been defeated. We know ultimately he has no power, but... Until the last day, he makes it his mission to go around and sow error and confusion and discord and violence to us and to Christians. So though the, this spirit of condemnation helps us to determine what is authentically of God and what we ought to condemn, those errors, those untruths, those evils in our lives that we ought to reject, and listening to that Holy Spirit, we can be convinced that we have an advocate. We have someone on our behalf who will help us to sort through the many difficult issues, the many difficult questions of our days. So today we ask, uh, again as we gather together, for an abundant outpouring of the Holy Spirit, especially in this time when many of us... Uh, all we've had to talk to lately has been the Holy Spirit, right? It's been a little lonely or a little difficult. That the, the Spirit would use even this time to stir up into our hearts even a greater faith, a greater hatred of sin, a greater longing for righteousness, and a true spirit of condemnation that would reject what would keep us from God and accept all that he wants for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.